Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross here again, and back for another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be how to do super slow motion. Um, it's going to be kind of imitating the Twixter effect, which is in Adobe After Effects, but for Sony Vegas 9, there's no plugin that you can do super slow motion. So that's what we're going to do today. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, that looks uh, pretty cool. Um, I'd probably use that, you know, if you've done like a, let's say, a four, five, six man spray, or you could even use it, you know, whilst you're doing your 360 in midair or 720 or whatever you're doing. Uh, you can do the, obviously the rotation really slow. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into Sony Vegas. Um, I've just got a clip here that I just did in a private match, just for this tutorial. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna. Um, Split this down by pressing S on the keyboard. So find a pot. Right, that'll do. And just delete the edges. Um, I haven't got it full screen. I should have done that before the video, really, but I'm just going to quickly do that. So um, just drop it down to YouTube page Q, maintain aspect ratio no. And for the V box, just right click on it, properties, and upper field first, make sure that's on. So, uh, what we first of all want to do is find the spot where we're starting to reload the gun. So these are the way it's firing here. And then as soon as it starts taking the hand off about there, we're going to press S on the keyboard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find... Let's have a look. Just make sure where the end of the video is. Yeah, that's fine there, so I'll just trim that end off. So you just basically do it how long you want it to be. Um, then the next step, what we're going to do is press Control and left key on the mouse, so like a, a squiggly line comes up, and we're going to drag that like this, as far as it'll go. There we go. So um, I'll just mute this, and I'll put it on to see if what we'll do on draft half, so you can see it. So now, basically the clip will start there. You know, we're firing the bullets. And then it should go into like a slow motion reload, like that. So that's where you'd really want the slow motion to stop. And then obviously if you're getting more kills with the same gun, you can continue. So I'd probably, I'm just going to chop the end off here. Um, so that's how to get kind of slow motion. To get super slow motion, what we're going to have to do is add um, the velocity bar in. Um, some of you may know how to do this, some of you may not, um, but it's a useful tool. So what we're going to do is right click on the video and go to insert slash remove and go to envelopes and it's on velocity. So you'll now see a green bar come across the video. Uh, this is kind of basically um, like a speed line which you can speed and slow, slow the video down in stages. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to go to the beginning of the video. This is where we're starting to reload the gun. So, I want to drop it down a little bit slower than what we've done just by pressing control and dragging the video to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click left key on the green line and it should come up saying like 100%. So that means it's running at 100% of what we've already done, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is make it slow down a bit more. So I'm going to drop it down to about 93%. Um, you can be more accurate with the bar if you increase the size of the bar, like here on the left. So now you get more um, accuracy. So say you wanted to just drop it down at two percent, so I could drop it down to let's say 88. We'll use that for now. Um, and then obviously what we're going to do is we're going to keep just use the arrow keys, just go across, find the spot where we want to stop the super slow motion. So about there, we've reloaded the gun. What I'm going to do now is double click on the velocity line to set the like a keyframe, and then straight after I'm going to set another uh, keyframe. I'll just zoom in so I can show you. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want the video, the end of the video, to run at full speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that back up to 200%. We'll put it back to the normal speed before we did anything, um, you know, in the video. So if you was to watch this now, um, so here we go. Let's just pretend we're getting, you know, a four or five man spray here with the AK. Happy with that, and then we're going to super slow mo. Um, 
reload like that and then when it gets to that point on the velocity line it picks back up and back into normal speed so if you wanted to you know continue your montage with your AK so you've been using that and you get some more kills after that you know you can continue at the normal speed there or obviously just you know transition into your next clip um, so that's the basics of the Twixter uh, not Twixter sorry the velocity line um, you can basically put as many you know ups and downs you know speed faster or slower just by double clicking the velocity line so it's really simple to do and it's a really effective tool um, so yeah just uh, you know give it a try um, if anybody wants to send a video response just showing you know what they've done with the velocity line you know feel free to send me one uh, but that's it for today guys really so um, you know give it a good comment give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you next time cheers guys